I feel like a lot of people make sound design like a lot harder and more complicated than it has to be. Honestly, for me, it's been pretty easy. If you're not an expert, but you want to add some more sound effects to your video, this is how I do it in Premiere Pro. First up, pretty simple. We have our music track right here. I like to keep everything organized though. That's just the number one thing that I am very particular on. So I like to keep my music in audio level one. Audio level two, I usually have dialogue from doing like a documentary or something like that, but there's no dialogue right here. So I just put my sound effects in audio level two, but if not, then audio level three, so on. Uh, just try to keep your layers organized. That's like my one main thing. And if you're gonna have like multiple layered sound effects, then just make sure that like layers three and four are reserved for sound effects only. Trust me, this saves you a lot of time, especially when you go into the mixer later. But with that, let's get into the sound effects. Personally, for me, when it comes to editing, there's three sound effects that I like to go for. The first are risers. These are good for like building suspension, just making your video build up seem a lot more like suspenseful and like epic. Next are hits. Hits are like just big impactful moments. It just makes your video feel a lot more like impactful, especially on the big moment when there's like the beat drop or like whatever the big reveal is. And last but not least, number three are sound effects. And what I mean by this are these are just basically sound effects or like whatever visuals you see in the video, just like add a sound effect for that. Don't overkill it. Don't like add too many sound effects, but just for any cool element that you'd like your audience to hear. So with that, let's get into our edit right here. I have my music track. Number one is open up your audio mixer and just rearrange your windows so that you can see it pretty clearly right now by the way i am in windows vertical mode i believe workspaces yes vertical mode you can switch to the audio mode i believe right here personally for me it doesn't really make a difference i prefer vertical mode and then you can just scroll throughout your effects control lumetric color central graphics until you get to the audio clip mixer and just make it big so you can see it so basically right here the audio mixer allows you to see all the sound from every track our music is our audio one track so if you want you could just name this music and it just makes it really easy to keep track of things our audio track 2 is going to be sfx 1 and then audio track 3 is going to be sfx 2 and there you go this nice easy organization now first up for our risers where am i actually getting my sound effects youtube guys you don't have to do anything crazy i mean you can pay for like artlist or envato whatever those subscription sites are but honestly for me i personally find the best cinematic sound effects on youtube this is one of my favorite ones shout out to music notebook right here i've been using this sound effect video for like past year and like all my projects sound way better completely free pack you can copy the link and go to like y2 me and download everything i also have clip grab downloaded and you can just paste the link in right here and then just download the mp3 audio file only just a really easy way to get audio tracks but with that let's go ahead and drag in the cinematic riser effect which i downloaded from music notebook i mean these risers are honestly the best risers are always really fun to work with and i just recommend choosing like few select risers that you'd like so that's just easy for you to just go into any project and just like start editing. One of my favorite riser effects of all time is actually this like clicking riser. I love this riser. This sound is like so good. It carries so many like scenes and segments. So this sound effect is like a perfect example of just applying the riser to the context of the video. So one of my go-to favorite effects is like this time-lapse flash effect, um, which by the way, if you're interested in creating this effect, you can check out this video right here. But I love to apply this riser effect with it because it just, oh my gosh, it just sounds so perfect. And then of course, make sure the, the riser is actually matching with the, the video. But those are risers. I always recommend adding a riser like maybe about 10 to 15 seconds just a good way to just add some occasional sound effects to keep it more engaging and interesting so now let's go to our audio mixer so you can see right here we have our music level and our sound effects and let's play this out so you can see our sound effects levels are obviously way higher than our music and that's just gonna be really messed up. And we definitely wanna fix that because then our sound effects are just gonna be way too loud. So to do that, there's two ways. You can actually go ahead and just decrease the uh, audio decibel level by just dragging this bar on the timeline or you can adjust the actual like audio bar of the entire audio layer right there. So one important thing to note on is that I usually don't like to mess around with the audio mixer volume because then it's gonna affect the sound effects of every other sound effect. And Sometimes some sound effects might be actually like perfect volume level. So you don't really want to mess with that. But what you can do is you can actually write keyframes. So you can select this keyframe button. And then for this segment only, I want it to be way, way lower. So let's see if we play that out. 
yeah, that sounds about right. If our music is at the negative seven decibel level, which is honestly pretty good for me and most speakers, now the sound effect is at a good level. Now that we have this riser and music nicely like aligned, we can go ahead and move on to our next part, which is our actual sound effects. So this is a perfect example of what I mean by just like applying sound effects given the context of the video. This flag right here, I think this would be really, really cool if I added some like flag flapping sound effect. So I just went to YouTube, searched flag sound effect, found this video which I think is pretty good. Uh, so I downloaded it through clip grab and now that it's in my project file, I'm just gonna drag this to my second sound effects layer right here so that we can have some cool overlapping sound effects. And let's play that out. Looks pretty good to me. Once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the sound effects level just so that it's a little bit more in line with the rest of the sound effects. Now, of course, never just have a cut right here and then just delete it because the sound effect will just end abruptly unless if the sound effect like naturally fades away like this riser right here. So what you can do actually, what's a cool new feature added in Adobe Premiere Pro 2024 is they added out a fade out button that you can use with the sound effects. So I can just click on this fade out and drag inward and then boom, there you go. It just automatically fades out. We don't have to do any keyframing, saves a lot of time. And if you don't have that feature, you can always just go to your effects and search for the fade fade out effect, which is a constant power or the exponential fade and drag that to the beginning or end. And it does basically the same thing. Now moving on to our impacts, I like to add some impacts as well, just for like some big hit moments right here. So like this like fire just blowing up, I think that'd be pretty cool. Shout out to Tiny Tapes, by the way, he actually has this dope Boosh's sound effects riser pack. So you can check it out on his website at tinytapes.ca. Honestly, my favorite sound effect from this pack is Woosh number 61. This one's just really cool. It's like a hit impact effect and it's just very easy to apply. So I'm gonna apply this to my top sound effects layer. Of course, once again, adjust the volume level so that it matches in line with our sound effects one panel in our mixer. Yeah, that looks pretty dope. And last but not least, I'm just gonna go over some cool quick tips and tricks for any sound effects and how you can manipulate them to make them sound even cooler than they already are. First is gonna be panning. Right here, I have like this airplane sound effect, which I want sound like as the airplane moves across the screen. So this is a really cool technique, which you can use. Let's lower the volume. So what you can do to get this effect is we're just gonna right click this FX logo on the audio and I'm just gonna select panner and then I'm gonna hit balance. And now it basically looks like it did nothing, but don't worry, go ahead and grab your pen tool to keyframe it. The top is gonna be the left and the bottom is the right. So our plane starts from the right side. So I wanna move it more to the bottom. Don't move it all the way to the bottom or else the sound will only play through the right side of your speaker. So yeah, that's basically what it's doing. It's playing the sound from the right to the left speaker. And then I'm just gonna create like a linear line so that it goes from right to left. And let's keep it pretty balanced. And obviously just adjust those keyframes to the actual video itself. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. Last but not least, I'm of course just gonna go ahead and drag in on this fade so that it just like blends in. And then I'm gonna cut and do the same for the other end. And yeah, that sounds a lot cooler than just having the audio play out of both speakers. And my last favorite sound tip slash trick is actually just going to the essential sound panel right here. I'm just gonna expand this so I can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in some like concert crowd cheering right here just so that we have some like sound effects. I think that sounds pretty cool. Let's turn down the audio of course. And now one thing I think a lot of people forget about are these actual like dialogue and music sound effects presets that Premiere has built into the program. Everybody likes to create them from scratch, which is totally cool, but these save a lot of time. So one of my favorite ones is actually using the dialogue. You can apply this dialogue preset to the sound and music effects. It's okay, I've listened to it, it sounds fine. Basically what I'm gonna do is there's like a bunch of cool presets right here. So you can see there's balance high tone, clean up noisy dialogue from outside a building, from the radio, from the telephone, from the television, Vision, just like a bunch of cool presets. One of my favorite ones is using the from outside a building preset and that's because it makes it sound very like muffled and like underwater-ish. I can turn up the clip level. I can mess around with the dynamics of course to just get like louder and more like clear sound effects. And then one other cool trick is I just like to split it in half, go to the second clip right here and then I'm just gonna change it back to default. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my effects and just add one of those fade constant powers in between it so that it just blends. And if we play this out, 
I think that's pretty cool because it just like creates this nice blended sound effect. Now, of course, just apply it to the context of the video. Like right here, we have that like riser time lapse effect. So I can just apply it right after the hit. Right now, we have some muffled sound effects. And then after the hit, it just turns into like real sound effects. And by the way, if you want to save yourself some time, just check out 11percent.net. We have some editing templates there. We have title card templates, CRT overlays, paint overlays, low shutter presets, and just a bunch more crazy effects. They're all really easy to use and will seriously help you save some time. That's how you guys support me and keep me going so I can keep making free tutorials like this for you guys. But with that, guys, here's the final results. But with that guys, those are just some of my quick tips and tricks. Hopefully you found some value. If you had any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. See you guys in the next video. Peace.